It seems that uh, Papa crowed a little too soon about putting one over on Sidney and Harold by going into the movie business without letting them know first. For just as Papa's elation was at its height, he discovered a sign painter putting Sidney's name on a door of one of the studio offices. Well, right now we find Papa in his office, none too calm. Sarah and Mama are with him. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Sarah. Sarah, where is your husband? Now, Paul, please don't get excited. I'm sure that Sidney can explain everything. Explain. That's right, that's right. Explain. Papa, Papa, please. I... Now sit down and don't be giving yourself away to your emotions. Look. Look, Mama. Sarah. For a long time, I was in the knee pants business. Me. Me and Sam. We was happy. The whole world was happy. Then along came trouble. And his name was Sidney. But I didn't mind because maybe he did a few smart things. Of course he did, Paul. Everything he did was for the good of the business. Yeah, but Sarah, you can't do the business any good by killing the owner with trouble and worry. Jake, that's very foolish. You ain't dead. Yeah, but it's a good idea. Don't talk that way, Jake. Dying is very dangerous. <laughs> now sit down, yeah, and I'll get you a drink of water. I don't want a drink of water. I'm on a whole ocean. Yes, I'm on a whole ocean. Then I'm going to take Sidney and hold his head under the ocean for a nice long time. Boy, I bet even the fishes would swim the other way. Fat. Jake. Jake, listen to me. Listen to you. All right. All right, Becky, darling. I will listen to you. I would listen to anything to keep from thinking about that schlemiel who put his name on that door. Yes. And another thing. Why does he want gold letters? Ain't black ones just as easy to read? Papa, I'll tell you something. Maybe you're right about all this. What? Maybe you're getting excited because you have a good reason. But the... All right, all right. So when Sidney comes back, you will tell him to take his name off of the door again. I... Oh, but more, you can't do that. It'd break Sidney's heart. His heart, sir? <laughs> he ain't got one. But he has got a head I would like to break. Papa, you're making Sarah feel very terrible. No. Now you must be quiet. And when Sidney comes back, you tell him that you will run the business yourself. But, Ma... Sarah, I'm talking to your papa, and you shouldn't be bolting in like that all the time, yeah? Papa, are you still listening? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Then you're still listening. All uh... right. If you don't want Sidney, you don't want him. <laughs> so you found that out, eh? That's right, huh? Yeah. Sarah, give me the little book you keep the names and the addresses in. Huh? Names and addresses? What... Why do you want them now? Give them to me, Sarah. Mama, what, what? Have you gone crazy? Do you feel the same way I do? I am never crazy, Jake. I'm going to do something for your own good. Yep. Uh, give me the little book, Sarah. But... All right, here it is. But what you want with it at a time like this, I don't know. It's all right, darling. It's all right. So, <clears throat> A, B, C, F, F, Fink. Fink? What on earth? We promised Mrs. Fink that we would call the park house and up here. The one that married Ruth Baerbaum's sister. Uh, Mama, Mama, uh, wait just a minute, uh, please. Put down the book. I want to look at you. Yeah? So, here I am. Jacob Bloom. A man that's almost crazy. And right in the middle of everything, you want to call up people we don't even know. Why, Mama? Why? Because Mrs. Fink's cousin is a big executor out here. Oh, I remember. He has something to do with a motion picture company. What? 
What are you going to do now? Sell me to him? No, Papa. I'm going to give Sydney to him. You're going oh. to give the... Mama, Mama, please. Yeah, now, take it easy, Mama. Uh, sit down. Take it easy. Uh, sit down, Mama. I'm going to bring you a drink of water. Give me the telephone. Sydney is a very ambitious man, and I know that Mrs. Fink's cousin would like to have him. So I will give him Sydney. Mama. Mama, you oh. can't play dirty tricks like that, even on a cousin of Mrs. Fink's. You can't do it, Mama. Jake, you want to get rid of Sydney, and I'm knowing where you could do it. But... Oh, Ma, you're joking. Sarah, am I laughing that you should think I'm joking? I was never more serial in my life. Give me the telephone, Jake. Mama, no. Then give me a nickel, and I'll use the one outside. Mama, no. Jake, you are being very stubborn. Ma, I, I, I still think you're joking. So, you think so? All right, I'll show you. No, no, Mama, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, you... You know how I always felt about Mo Fink. What's that got to be doing with this, Jake? Well, I... Now, look, Mama, I... I well, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, I don't want Mo Fink to know that I've got a schlamiel for a son-in-law. But you would be telling everybody if you didn't want Sydney in the moving picture business, would you? You would be telling everybody that Sydney's not a very smart boy. Uh, Mama, I don't know why I do these things, but... But to keep Mo Fink from laughing at me like a hyena, I will even go so far as to, as to, well, as to keep Sydney. Oh, oh, that's swell, Pa. Well, I don't know. But, uh, eh, all right, Jack. <laughs> all right, Jack. Mama, you know something? What? We are just where we started ten minutes ago. I've still got Sydney and my headache is getting worse. <laughs> but, Mama, you know something? I love you more every day. Mm. Only you could think of giving Sydney to Mrs. Fink's cousin. And only you, Mama. Only you could make me keep Sydney. Mm. Jake, you wanted to keep them all along, didn't you? Well, Mama, I... <laughs> yeah, Mama, I <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh, you're both a couple of dears. Gee, Pa, Sydney will work just as hard in this business as he did for the knee pants in the uniform factory. But, Sarah, I don't want him to do that. And Sydney works hard, it always costs me money. <laughs> Jake, you are a very lovely people. All <laughs> along, you are being very aggravated about Sydney. But all the time, you're wanting him to be in the business with you. Well. Yeah, well. <laughs> but you got to make a big fuss about it. No, Mama. It's like I'm always saying, nothing is right for you, Jake Bloom, unless you're worrying about it. Yeah. But I still don't know why he is having his name put up on the door in gold letters. Gold letters. Why couldn't he have them in little black ones? It's cheaper. Because it looks more fancy to have gold ones. Fancy, fancy. What if Mrs. Fink should come to visit you at the studio someday and see all the names painted on those in little black letters? Don't you see, Pop? It helps to be a little fancy. Well, maybe just a little. But remember, I'm not going to have any fancy offices and dictaphones. I know how to run a business without lace on it and things like that. That's good, Papa. That's good. You bet your life. So you don't get excited all over again? We will say that you know how to run a business. Of course I do, don't you believe it? Sure, Jack, sure. Who says I didn't? All right, then I know how, I know how. Now, both of you, listen to me. As long as I have Sydney in the business, I will have to figure out something to do with it. Yeah. You see, I don't own the whole business. I bought some of it, sure. But there are other people who are going to have something to say. Well, Sydney can take orders. From me. I always know what I'm doing. You know that, Mama. Jake, don't be foolish. Are you trying to start an argument about something you know? Or ain't you sure that you do know? I'm sure. And when Sidney comes back, I want you should both be quiet and I will tell him what to do and how to do it. Because I am going to run this business. Well, I'm going out to try to find Sidney. And I'll bring him here. You, you do want to see him, don't you, Paul? Well, you can put it off as long as you want. <laughs> I'm not anxious to keep hitting myself over the head with a hammer. Jake, that's foolish. You're talking like a little baby. You should tell Sidney now. Well, all right. If you can find Sidney, bring him here, Sarah. All right, Pa. All right, Pa. Oh, hello there, honey. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just going to look for you, Sidney. You say, is Pa in there? Uh-huh, and Ma. Well, I got something to talk over with oh, him. Oh, and... Sidney. Yeah? Well, I want to talk to you first. Oh, can't it wait, honey? I got to see Pa about something. Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. Well, okay. What's on your mind, Sally? Um, look, darling. Pa's a little mad about you going ahead and putting your name on the door and, and well, things like that. He thinks you should have asked him first. Oh, I didn't think he'd mind. Besides, he's got to have somebody around here to give him a lift. I know that, honey, but, well, just take it easy. Sure, sure, I will. Don't you worry. I know how to handle Pa. Once we get things going, everything will be hunky-dory. Now i got to go see uh, uh, Please, Sidney, let him handle things. Well, all right. You going in again? Uh-huh, but now, now remember, darling, 
Paul likes you. He really thinks a lot of both you and Harold, but, well, just let him do a few things himself. Sure, I know. There's something I've got to tell him today. Come on. Hello, Ma. Hello, Pa. Hello, oh. Sidney. We were just talking about you. <laughs> well, maybe that's what made my ears ring. Your head should ring, you... Papa. <laughs> no name. Hmm? Uh, sit down, Sidney. Sure. Say, Pa, there's something I've got to talk over with you right away before we do anything else. It's very important. Sid. Sidney, I'm going to tell you a few things now. Sidney, first I'm going to ask you a question. Am I a good businessman or ain't I? Papa, you should ask one question at a time. Mama, please, I'm talking at Sidney. Well? Why, nobody said you weren't, Pa. Of course you're a good businessman. All right. I promised Mama and Sarah that you will come into the business with me. Well, I didn't think there was any doubt about that in the first place, Pa. Yes, I... Did you hear, Mama? Did you hear? He didn't think there was any doubt about it in the first place. Papa... Don't get mad again, huh? Your face gets very red and then you don't look so lovely. Just like a picture in Nectacolor. Technicolor, Ma. He's very mad. Sidney, you shouldn't say things like that. Oh, I'm sorry, Ma. That's good, that's good. <laughs> now, you can go ahead again, Papa. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Sidney, I'm going to tell you that this ain't like the knee pants business. In that, I had just one partner, Sam. The was all there was. But here, I ain't the only one who's got a right to say something about the business. Sam, I could always talk around. But here, here I can't talk fast enough, even if I can understand what they're talking about. You see? I don't see, Jay. He ain't supposed to see, Mom. I was talking to Sidney. No, look, Pa, let me say something first. Something important. I ain't finished yet, Sidney. I'm telling you that I am smart enough to get along yeah, with... I know you are, Pa, but the best of us can make mistakes once in a while. Be also... Who makes mistakes? Well, maybe it isn't exactly a mistake, Pa, Mama, but... Mama, quick, push that chair over here. I can't walk to it. Papa, what's the matter? Sarah, get Papa Raspberry tablet quick. Why, what's wrong? Sidney, what did you mean by that? Tell me. Well, you didn't give me a chance, Pa. I just wanted to ask you if you signed this. Here, is this your signature? Well, I wrote it. It must be me. Only I ain't sure of anything anymore. Bye. Well, you said a minute ago that there'd be a lot of bosses around here. Well, you're wrong, Pa. I... What? Quick, Sidney, quick. Get to it quickly. Well, you sign this. You thought it was a contract to buy a share in the company. But if you read it very carefully, like I just finished doing, you'll see that you didn't buy part of the company at all. And Papa didn't buy nothing. Oh, how awful. You... You mean I... I don't get anything? Not at all, Pa. Somebody just sold you the controlling interest. You're the big boss. Mm -hmm.